The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Bengals and the Lions, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. But tonight, we've got a preseason matchup as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins? I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Second and ten. Here's Goff. This is going to be incomplete. Now we'll pause for an injury, and it's the quarterback, Jared Goff, shaking up on the play. We well, hate to see this before the regular season even begins. We'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. On third down, here's Mills. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back in his own three-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. The Bengals bring out their punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and ten. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for Jack in the secondary. No beating around the bush with this crew. His first throw of the game is a deep shot and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally you build up to the big shot, but not in this case. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. He's the one relentless along with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles, and his feet never stop moving. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Lions put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. 
So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Now it's Murphy. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says it's a thing when they start a drive from that deep in their territory. The goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And now the first run for Devon A. Chain. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. They go here with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. A pretty good effort there. Nine yards, but not enough. We'll likely see the punt team now on fourth down. Got the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. This one finds Pierce on the out route, and he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Here's second and ten. Brings up second and ten at the 46-yard line. From the shotgun, Richardson escaping, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. How about that? They weather the storm of the third and 17 to pick up the first. Richardson. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Off play action. Richardson rolling to his right. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. After the sack here, second and 11. Now Richardson. Open man is Palmer. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Richardson. Completion here to Claypool. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And this carry terminated at the 8-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. Ball 
on the eight. It's second and four. Richardson looking to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Third down and one. Richardson working from the gun. And all it'll be intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. To throw, Mills. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Mills now. And his throw is incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays and kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mills to the air again. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and it will be first and ten as they take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it as they head out on the field for this drive. The whole offensive game is just thinking of redemption. You know, the moves are really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. He'll get four yards of the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. There, Richardson back to throw it. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Richardson looking to throw this. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer, but I'll guarantee this, they'll be gone by the start of the fourth quarter. The Bengals set to take over. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Here's third and three. Mills to throw it. 
And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you need to call this an update anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And they will take over first and ten. Detroit's offense ready to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there. And it Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Brings up third and 16. Richardson out of the shotgun. Under pressure, and they got to him again. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here's a chain to begin the drive. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now Mills. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The further third overall pick, Quinn Williams there to bring him down. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That old line, they got to protect him. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's Jake Bailey now. Hines now on the return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Play action. Now Richardson. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Brings up second and 17 at the 29 yard line. Here's Richardson to throw. Broken tackle. And he'll get up to the 43 yard line. Excellent work that time to get free, and for his exploits, he's going to be left with just a third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And he slings one that's incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again. Or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. 
On second down, it's Taylor. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not have to block more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. This to Hines on the drop-off. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. A 62-yard attempt. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Mills on first down. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Looking to throw is Mills. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Shea now up the middle, and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And this returnable for Hines. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set them back on second. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. And the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Oh, and that is incomplete. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that one fell swoop, but that winds up incomplete. Second down, Mills. Throwing left side right in there, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Have a little point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, so much led into the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And now this throw incomplete. And that is how his first half will come to an end. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Week three of the preseason is here. Everyone wrapping up their exhibition schedule. No games for the league on Labor Day weekend. And then it all begins. The 17-game regular season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. In our game, expect to see the starters for at least one more drive, something to look forward to. This field we get right back at the out goal to line. Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. 
I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And this will wind up the Lions' first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. From the 48-yard line, here's second and six. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. Stays on his feet, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw. Richardson. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop something? And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Grover Stewart getting in there for the sack. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he couldn't get it to check out. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. On play action, Mills. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and five. Mills. His throw incomplete. I help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just screwed to win anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And that one goes incomplete on the draw. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Richardson. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, 
but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now Richardson, meanwhile, going to get this ball to Taylor. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. On the handoff, Taylor. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back out and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. 72 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and nine. They run once more with Taylor. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly... Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. But well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game to the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it back. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. It's J.O.K. Jeremiah Wusu koromoa in there for the sack. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. McLeod to return it. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven, and the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And they'll start on the ground with Hines. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flash back to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe on will the drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Now Willis. Oliver, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Here's the 
Here's Willis now off the play fake. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now Willis. And he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. On third down, it's Willis. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. But Darian Mathis burying him for the sack. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback. He's now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them, and they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. This is second and eight. Throwing, Mills. He's got a man complete. Down the left sideline. Nico Collins. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Nico Collins. And even 90 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Yes, it was a touchdown. And not just a TD, but how about a long touchdown that puts them in a great position now. And now just an extra point away from tying this thing. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So out now come the Lions. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. But that was definitely a surprise there, handed to the big guy on first down. Heck, the first play of the drive. And when you see him get to the second level, as a former safety, I can just tell you, your eyes get really wide because you know you've got a lot to deal with at that point. This is Hines. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. The second down throw by Willis. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, third and a yard. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I get the thought process. Third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way. But that means... You're counting on your offensive line to win the line of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. 
On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. To throw, Mills. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The offense on third down tonight. Can you believe it? 0 for 9 thus far. This is third and four. Mills now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bengals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. They will run straight ahead with Swift. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes out right around the 39. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. Here's Mills. And this is going to be intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And the Lions are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's all has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Cloud keeps moving. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Right back to him on first down. And after the good game last play, this time they say, ah, uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Here's a give up the middle. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Third down and goal coming up here. It's now third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. Well, you've been a workhorse up 
this drive, and it wouldn't have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. This is first and 10. Mills back to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Drop a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. One last shot for Mills. He's going to let it fly. And a penalty flag comes in as Edward winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the game will continue for at least one more play. To not finish a game on a defensive penalty, that's why they get one more untimed attempt. This ball intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And Charles, a hard-working way to lose this game. They got into position for that final play, had a decent look toward the end zone, but ultimately picked off, and that's your ball game. Yeah, they gave themselves a great opportunity, didn't they? They'll replay that snap over and over. But sometimes you just have to give credit to the other side. Defense stood up in the final moment and came through with the interception. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.